بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي رفعها ميزان العلم والعلماء وحلق النذاح بالسقاوة وصل وصل على سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم خير وعتام الحبيع السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته سهلا ودي مسلم سلطان زنبرة زن إسلام it's another moment with شفاء مرحبا بكم هيلا قناة السلام ومرحبا بكم هيلا برنامة جديد. So today we'll be talking about the different baits that we have in Islam. We have some wahajib baits. It's a must for us to take them in Islam. And we have seas. The first one. So the first one we have Gasol Janoba. We have Gasol Hido. We have Gasol Nefaz. We have Gasol Mahid. We have Gasol Jumhat. We have Gasol Kafir al Ila Islam. And Gasol Janova is a bait that you take when you have a sexual intercourse with your partner. Gasol Haido is a bait that you take after your menstruation. Uh, Gasol Nefaz is a bait that you take when you give birth. Gasol Mahid is a bait that they take for someone that died. And we have Gasol Jumhat. It's a bait that you take on Friday. Or Gasol Kafir or Hilal Islam. It's a bait that they take when they want to convert someone from another religion to Islam. So today we'll be talking about Gasol Al Haido. A bait that you have to take after your menstruation. This is mostly consigned female. And we have different steps to take while performing this baiting. So firstly, you look for a kettle and fill the kettle with water. Then when you are in your bedroom, you let your kettle be at your right hand side. Then you have intention to purify yourself. And um, you now use your left hand side to wash your private parts three times. So while washing your private parts, you will be saying this now why to gasol al haido ruffle haidas ala asaga wal hakaba and badani lillahi ta'ala that is first time so second time you still repeat the same thing now why to gasol al haido ruffle haidas ala asaga wal hakaba and badani lillahi ta'ala and the third time you still repeat the same thing now, why to Gasol Al Haido, Ruffal Haidas, Al Hasagar, Wal Hakaba, and Bad and in Allahi Jahala? That means you will wash your private parts three times. So, after that, you have to wash your hand, the hand that you use to wash your private parts, you wash the hand three times also. Then, after that, one, you now perform ablution. You know, our normal ablution is that you will wash our hand three times, our mouth three times, our nose three times, our face three times, our hand three times. But in this situation, now you have to wash your hand once, your mouth once, your nose once, your face once, your hand once. That means you are going to perform ablution, one more ablution. Then after the ablution, you have to wash your right hand side from this place to toes. You wash it from this place to toes. You make sure that the water enter everywhere. And this place also, that's another step. You wash your left hand side from this place to toes. Then you now wash every part of your body from head to the toes and you will make sure that water enter everywhere the water penetrates everywhere from head to toes that is the final and the another steps is you place your hand on your on your stomach here yeah, this part then you now wash it from this place to up and you now be saying La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah you wash from this place to up. So after.